what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel your channel our channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here i'm minx and my channel is all things mom life so during this cook with me if you are expecting one of those perfectly edited quiet background perfect looking kitchen type of videos you're in the wrong spot okay <laughs> because mom life is real i got four of them jokers and you guys are probably going to witness a fight, someone tattling, and all the other things that mom life come with during this cook with me today. So, welcome. This is Minx Family Vlogs. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a cook with me tonight. I haven't done a cook with me, I feel like, in ages. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really do a lot of, like, cook with me videos for you guys but tonight's meal was cooked with me worthy so as i mentioned before this is going to be a raw real cook with me type of vlog video it's not going to be one of those voiceovers and super cute with the soft music no not going to get that in this video you're going to get the raw real me cooking in the kitchen okay so whatever comes with that be prepared and while you're here, get down there and click that subscribe button to become a lounger and join the chaotic family. Because why not? So, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be cooking another pasta meal. Now, I've showed you guys one of the kids and Quan's and myself favorite pasta meals. But that was with the red sauce. The baked ziti, the cheesy, easy, like four ingredient, three ingredient really, baked ziti. No, not today. I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit. We're going to be eating. My mom used to call it chicken panini. But honestly, I think this word is pane. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But I'm going to be doing a little spin on it, making it my own. So we're going to have chicken and shrimp pane. Panini. It's easier to say panini. So panini. That's what we're going to have tonight. So I got my shrimp, which I need to thaw. I just showed you guys I got my noodles and the rest of my ingredients are in the pantry and in the refrigerator. So let me get those for y'all. Got our Alfredo sauce. There has been an Alfredo sauce drought at my nearest grocery store. I don't know why. I don't know who's buying all the Alfredo, but it was literally this brand right here and this brand right here. And there were only like three left. So I got those and luckily, I got another one of these from a couple months ago. So we're all good on the Alfredo sauce. Now for the cheese, because I think I want to bake it just to be a little extra with it. So I'm going to, I bought some fancy, and it says fancy by the way, fancy shredded mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to put that on the top and inside of it to give it that, mm, Okay, um, I was going to do the TikTok pasta, hence the feta cheese. So I might just wait and do that video on another occasion. But tonight we're eating, we're eating shrimp and chicken panini. And look, so tomatoes go in there as well. And yeah, so, oh, can't forget about our second protein. So just the grilled chicken, I do put it in the skillet to kind of just like heat it up and make it warm, but it's already cooked. I got two of these. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna boil my noodles. I'm going to thaw my shrimp <laughs> and warm my chicken up. And then we're gonna put this meal together, tie it in a perfect little bow and see how it tastes, you guys. Oh, one more thing, let me show y'all. I also picked up it's called Rustic Flatbread, soft and crunchy garlic butter flavor. So I got this. I've never gotten it before, but I figured slice it up on the side, put it, put it in the oven for a little bit, toast it up, and put it on the side of this pasta meal. And oh my gosh, the amount of carbs. <laughs> no, it's gonna be good though, y'all. So let me thaw myself, get myself together, get everything where it's supposed to go, and I'll be right back to talk to y'all. First, you have to put salt in here, y'all. Salt helps the water boil faster, if you didn't know. Now you do. Next, pour your noodles in. Add water. 
not too much, but just enough. Our chicken to about a four. Our chicken. I'm one-handed, so bear with me. Mm. It's so good. You could just eat it like this, put it on a salad. Mmm. Bust man. Okay, y'all. So I chopped the chicken up with my spatula. And now I'm about to add some minced onions. If you don't know how to mince this, get you some that's already minced, okay? If you're like me and you don't know how to mince, get you some that's already minced, okay? McCormick's got your back. They always got my back. I know they'll have yours too. So, give it a little bit of flavor, y'all. Like so. You hear that cooking? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good. And now we're going to season our shrimp. I'll show y'all what we're gonna season it with. We're gonna do garlic salt first. Do a little bit of garlic salt. Because the shrimp is fully cooked already. I just had to like take the tail and stuff off. We're gonna do garlic salt. We're gonna do a little bit of parsley. We're gonna do a little bit of parsley. Cause we gotta add a dash of slaying now, huh? It slays the meal every time. You want your meal to look fancy? Add parsley, huh? What you talking about, son? Huh? And what else are we gonna add? Oh, oh, we're gonna add Mrs. Dash. We always need a dash of Mrs. Dash into the meal. Okay, hold on. We gotta break her up a little bit. She acts like she don't want to come out. All right. And then the last thing, seasoned salt. That's it. Once you get your seasoned salt, your other seasonings, put a little bit of it on there. And we're gonna take these noodles off. Throw this shrimp in the pan. Let it cook. our meal y'all so our shrimp nice and seasoned huh baby mm -hmm. <laughs> our shrimp is slowly but surely cooking you guys i don't know it looks like it's not cooking but it is i promise and in the background you hear my youngest stinker who has just woken up from her nap so our pasta's done you guys and my little man back here is keeping me some company talking my head off right Yes, you are. I haven't forgot about my tomatoes. Usually with my pasta, <laughs> usually with my pasta is done, I just dump it in there with the pasta and I'ma mix it in. My refrigerator been on extra cold, so it looks like the tomatoes are a little frozen, but that's okay. They will warm up in these hot noodles. Hold on, baby. So yeah, put your tomatoes right in with your noodles without any sauce first to kind of let them cook down with the noodles. Mommy. Ooh, lighting. There you go, that's a better view right there, y'all. So tomatoes with your noodles first. Now that our shrimp is done, you guys, we can add that in there with everything else. Sorry, messed up the lighting. So here's what it looks like. Now we're gonna stir all of this together and add our Alfredo sauce. And we're gonna see what it looks like after that, y'all. You gotta make sure you have a big pot because if you don't, that bad baby is going to overflow. So we wanna just stir all of this up and try to keep all of the food in the pot because, yeah. Our sauce. You didn't even take a nap. Bye bye. 
You never take naps anymore. Getting, getting on your bed is not taking a nap, Charlie. <laughs> you just relaxed for a little bit, but that's okay. Huh? Oh my gosh, this looks so good, y'all. Our dinner, girl. We got to eat good tonight. Sure. What? Y'all eat all day long. All you can eat buffet right here in the kitchen. Alright, y'all, let me show y'all what this is looking like with this masterpiece working we eat. Okay. Cause just call me Chef Mink. So okay. Cause she did not come to play. Alright, let me show y'all what it's looking like. Before I add the next sauce. Y'all see that deliciousness? This is just with one jar, okay? We've only put one jar of Alfredo sauce in here and we made sure we covered. That's a good big sister, boo. So, as you guys can see, all of our noodles are completely covered, very thorough. I'm gonna use big words, okay? That's the least I can do. Very thorough. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, y'all. This is popcorn salt, but I'll be using it on everything, okay? So, a little bit of salt to taste. And then we're gonna put it in this pan right here. Hold on, Noble. Here, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Here. Noble likes to eat while I cook, so gotta let her sample some stuff. Give her a piece of chicken. So, Keegan, Keegan you wanna try? Yeah. Tell me how you like it. Tell me if it's good, if it's nasty, if it needs more salt. What do you think? Yeah. Is it yummy? Yeah. Charlie, you like to try? Yeah. Yes. Then I already tried it. Yes. You tell mommy what you think, okay? Okay. Does it need salt? Is it yummy? Is it? T tell me what you think it needs. Rip is perfect. <laughs> I think it's good because it's right now. And Noble keeps coming back for more. Okay. You hear mommy? Mommy gotta cook it, baby. King, do you wanna try? Okay, tell me what mommy. I wanna try one. I wanna try one. Hold it with your hands, baby. Mommy, take it. Okay, mommy. Mommy. Get bugger. Y'all like that? Mommy about to cook the rest of it, okay? One more and that's it, okay? Until it's time to eat. Y'all about to get a whole bowl. The whole bowl. You want another one? Okay, that's it, okay? Until it's time to eat. Okay, y'all. Sorry. Told y'all, my life is real. So we're gonna just pour this in here. That looks yummy in Thanks. Mommy worked hard on this meal for y'all. Yeah, that looks yummy. Alright, let's see. So that's everything. That looks yummy. That looks Okay. So that's in there. And now we're just going to flatten it out. Here, Noble. Here, Bogle. Crazy. I'm about to get her something to hold her over while this is in the oven. So you just flatten it out so that we can drop our cheese on there because we're gonna put cheese on the top and make it cute, make it real cute, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like flattened like this before the cheese. Just flat and perfect to line up with the edges of the pan. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good, y'all. Our neighbors. They don't want to hear that. Noble, don't stop, mommy. Tell them Noble don't stop. 
So I should see happy plates tonight, right? Oh no, she wants more. Keegan, Keegan, you're a big boy. Stop that. Okay, y'all, so. Putting our cheese on there. First layers on there. So here's what it looks like. I didn't even need both things of cheese, honestly. Um, I still got some in here quite a bit because it's so finely shredded. You didn't need all that. So now I told y'all the parsley flakes makes it look fancy. Okay, got a little bit of chicken on it, but it makes it look fancy. So let's just add a little bit of that on there. So when that melt into there. It's gonna look like you professional, okay? Even if you're not professional and this meal tastes so nasty, it's gonna look like you did the daggone thing when you post up on the gram, okay? So, there's that. Now we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 and then we're gonna see what it looks like once we take it out, y'all. So, this is the before. So, the food is in the oven and I thought I would stop in and chat with you guys and see how y'all are liking this cook with me. So if you're liking it thus far, get down there, click that thumbs up button that lets me know that you like it. If you ain't feeling it, you don't think I should do the cook with me, click the thumbs down button because that's your opinion. Just throwing it out there. If you're new, welcome. Subscribe to become a lounger. And we're going to go ahead and finish with this cook with me. I don't know how much longer. It shouldn't be in there too long. Just to melt the top of the cheese, kind of cook the the noodles and the juices all together to make something beautiful and just warm to the soul and the tongue <laughs> and then it should be done so don't leave it in there too long and burn it and then destroy your whole entire meal this is super easy you can make it for guests you can make it for your family and it's the bomb.com i'm gonna put all the ingredients that i use in my description box if i can remember and i'm gonna try my best to remember so you guys can see what all I used and how easy peasy it is to make this. Y'all can come back, buy all the ingredients, come back, watch this video, and then make it for your family. And then email me, hit me up on Insta, let me know if you guys like it or not. Or if you tried it before. How you make yours, maybe. Just hit me up. I'll respond. I'm not one of those YouTubers who don't respond. Most of the time, I try to get back to y'all. If you know, then you know. So once that's done, I'm gonna throw this in the oven, probably like in five minutes. I'll put that in the oven to kind of just toast just a little bit and then pull that out and then our meal will be complete and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm almost certain, 100% it's gonna be the bomb.com and busting because any pasta meal, I really be like slaying, okay? I really be cooking, okay? Cause I really do this, only with pasta though. Everything else, so if I be planning on having like guests or something, I'm gonna cook pasta because that's my best dish. You feel me? So yeah, it should be done in a few, y'all. I'm gonna stop talking. I just had to do a quick intermission to let y'all know. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description box if I can remember to do that. And if I forget, hit me up on IG and let me know, girl, you forgot to drop the ingredients and I'm trying to make this food. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'll talk to y'all when it's done. Okay, loungers, so this is the final product of our chicken and shrimp baked chicken and shrimp panini oh my gosh y'all when i tell you this meal was bussing it was bomb my kids approved my man approved this is a good meal to try with your family if you are obsessed with cheese as much as i am this meal is for you sis okay it was just so full of flavor and i didn't even put that many um spices in it and it just turned out bomb not to mention this bread right here hit every aspect of my soul y'all i'm not even exaggerating but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up and if you are new to my channel don't hesitate clicking that subscribe button down below to become a lounger and join our little family i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we will see you guys in our next one bye y'all